guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to make a family tree for any of your animals you might own in minecraft so i prefer to when i'm making a family tree i prefer to use like wood and if it if it really bothers you how the wood looks, you have to be very precise in order for it to all be sideways. You can make the family tree as big as you want, but we are going to skip to when I finish building this and filling it in and stuff. All right, so here is my family tree board. As you can see, it is currently empty, but say I got... Two cats, and I tamed both of them. And they have babies. Okay, so now there's three cats in the family, so we're gonna dye their collars and name each and every one of them. So let's see here. So. I'm going to name the brown one Tawny. I'm going to name this one Cream. I'm going to name the baby Entree. Just for example names. You can call your cats whatever you want. You can have any color cat you want. This is just an example. So, okay, now I have three cats, so I want to put them up on the family tree, of course. So, how I like to do it is, see, we have Tawny and we have Cream. So, I put Tawny on one side, and I put Cream on the other side. And then, what I usually like to do is to dye every single sign no matter what the animal the color of their collar or their body or if you have like a pet dolphin or something and you want to do that just dye you don't have to dye the signs but if you want to just dye the color that comes to mind when you think about their name um but we are going to need dye for these cats so entree's collar can be light blue. Tawny's col collar can be white. Just that blends in. Uh, just that it stands out on the brown. And, um, let's see. Cream's color can be, like, a dark green. I usually try to pick colors that, like, stand out against the color that their fur is. So, so we have Tawny and we have um, Cream. So I'm gonna dye Tawny's color, I'm gonna dye Tawny's sign white and Cream's sign green. And then I'm going to draw arrows connecting them. So you draw an arrow by, usually I like to go down one space on the sign by hitting enter once. Then you, um, just tap the button on your keyboard that should be to the right of your zero. And then you hold down shift and you press the right arrow, which if you were to press it regularly would active would make a period. And then you just wanna keep doing that until the arrows are connected to their mate, like so. So as you can see here, now we have Tawny and Cream connected to one another. But we have to um, put their babies. So they had, they had um, Entree, but how I would put that is you hold down shift, um, you, Press the button that um, is below your backspace key. Um, you go down another line, and then you regularly press that the same button for the vertical line, 
and then you press the button or if you hold down shift would be a question mark and then you want to put entree down on there and of course we die entrees this the, your family tree can be as big as you want if one family tree gets too big you could dig a hole underground but what is probably easier is to just make a continuation of the second is to make a continuation just like a second board but it's still the original family tree because if you're keen on breeding the family tree can fill up really fast even if you build it really big And then you just keep repeating that through whatever generations you have. Your family tree might start to be looking a bit confusing after a while. But, um, you just have to, like, make the arrows in certain ways. And even if you're good about the arrows, it can still get kind of confusing after a while. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.